Hello, this recording is for explaining the is, is the prime function of the prime number function program. This function accepts an integer and returns true if the number is a prime number or false if the number is not, not a prime number. Now I'll explain how this function works. Recall that a prime number is a natural number greater than one that cannot be formed by multiplying two smaller natural numbers. For example, if we want to test the number 10, we need to test whether it is divisible by numbers 2 through 9. These are the numbers smaller than 10. But we don't need to test it, test its divisibility by the numbers 6 to 9. We don't need to test it for numbers greater than its half because no number is divisible by such large numbers. Uh, for 10, th we know that this is not a prime number because it is. it can be formed by multiplying 2 uh, and 5. It's divisible by 2 and divisible by 5. Now, the algorithm starts by divisor equals 2 and testing whether 10 is divisible by 2. Uh, 10 modulus 2 equals 0. Therefore, this is true and this is enough. Uh, we don't need to test for other numbers. Now let's take another example. Number is 11. We need to test it for numbers 2 through 10. But again, we don't test it for the large numbers 6 through 10. 11 modulus 2 is 1. So this is false. 11 modulus 3 is not 0. 11 modulus 4 is not 0. 11 modulus 5 is 1. So all these numbers are false. Therefore, 11 is a prime number. Now, let's trace the execution of this function. I want to concentrate on this function. So I'll insert here a breakpoint and in order to concentrate on the two examples number 10 and number 11 I can add a condition that uh, I want this breakpoint to break the execution when the number is greater than or equals 10. So I have now at the beginning of this function a breakpoint that will break when this function is called and number is 10. Start debugging. It's executing. It has stopped now. The number is 10. It has tested for the numbers 2 through 9 and found that 2, 3, 5, and 7 are prime numbers. Now for number 10, one step executing it, one step at a time. Now the divisor is 2. 10 
modulus 2 is 0. Therefore, it will return false. Continuing. No change on the output. It has stopped again for number equals 11. The divisor is 2. 11 modulus 2 is not 0. Eleven modulus three is not zero. Eleven modulus four is not zero. Eleven modulus five is not zero. Now it has went off outside the for loop and it will execute the return statement returning true continue returning true will make the caller to print 11 as a prime number i hope this explains it and this is the end of this recording